replacing a bearing kit in the AR Drone 2.0. The same procedure would be used in the AR Drone 1.0. Remove the hole and the battery. Removing the props, there's a C clip located in a snap ring groove on the top of this shaft. To remove it, you'll either need a flat bladed screwdriver, very small flat blade screwdriver or Parrot sells a Sir-Clip tool designed for pushing these off. Personally, I prefer just a flat screwdriver. You can either try a hook and pull it off, or like I did here, just push on the flats on the tab portion. Notice I'm keeping my thumb on the far side so it doesn't shoot off. I'm also on a light col colored surface, not carpet, so when the clips come off I can find them and keep track of them. After that clip is off, the prop comes off, the gear comes off, and the shaft slides out the bottom. Now, to get these out, the easy way is to stick the shaft back in part way and then rock it in a circle motion and it'll come out. For the far side you can just put the shaft in at a little bit of an angle and try to drive it through Or you can just flip it over and copy the same motion of trying to wiggle it around before. So there we have both of our bushings removed from this motor. Now the best way for putting them in, and this can sometimes be the tricky part, I put one on the shaft to start with and thread it through and then I use that to pull it up into it. See, and it went without forcing it or anything, so that, that worked easily. And then again, another one here. And just like that. Now I have to keep holding on the bottom here or it'll fall through. But replace the gear, make sure it's seated all the way. Now on the prop, you'll notice there's a high side and a low side that matches here. So make sure you would put it on in the way that matches. Otherwise it'll be too tall and you won't get the clip back on. Now, for putting the clip back on, see right now the clip ring is too high, so I'm going to slide the shaft down a little bit. Now it feeds on. Here I can either use the parrot sir clip tool and push it on like this, or the other way I've done for years is tiny needle nose pliers. Gripping on the far side of the shaft. and driving it on like that. And there you go. That one has bearings, that one doesn't. You'll be able to notice in flight much more efficient, a little bit quieter, they don't gum up and require oiling. Bearings are definitely a great upgrade. And that's how you install them. Not very difficult.